So I failed pretty spectacularly. Just watch. <laughs> So now it's dark outside and I want to try to take a picture of the night sky with all of the stars above us. But to make it interesting I'm not going to go on some hill where you can see the sky really well. I'm gonna take the pictures from my own backyard. I don't know if it will work but I'm gonna try it. I want to take a picture of the stars as simple dots as we see them with our own eyes. And I also want to take a picture of the stars as trails. Again, since I'm taking the picture from my backyard, I don't know if it will work, but I'm gonna try. First thing first, since I'm going to shoot a long exposure, I need a tripod. Now, this is a cheap tripod and it's a little bit broken here, but it's it should work. It's gonna do its job. Second, I'm gonna dial in the settings here. I will shoot this in manual mode in bulb exposure and I'm gonna use this remote to lock the exposure. I'm gonna set the aperture to f4 let's say the ISO to 100 and I'm gonna leave the white balance to auto since I'm gonna, going to shoot in RAW and I can easily change that later in post. And like I said, I'm gonna use this remote and I'm gonna leave the shutter open for around 15 minutes to see what that will give me. Another thing that I should pay attention to is the focus. Uh, I can't really focus on the stars, so I'm gonna use the Skopje Millennial Cross. I'm gonna focus on the cross in auto mode and then switch it to manual mode so it doesn't change. The cross is pretty far and being focused on the cross should mean that the camera will be focused on the stars as well, but I can't be sure and as always I'll, I, I guess I'll find out. You can see the cross right there. Okay, that should work. So now, with my focus ready, I'll make sure I don't move it. I'll attach the camera to my tripod. With the camera attached to the tripod and the remote attached to the camera, I'm gonna go set the tripod up. Let's go. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera on a self-timer mode. I'm going to set the self-timer to about 2 seconds. And that will allow for me to get my hands off the camera and make sure that I don't move the camera uh, while I'm pressing the shutter button. Here it is, my camera is set up and now I'm going to press the shutter. I'm only taking a picture of the night sky, I try to avoid all of the houses that are in my neighborhood. I'll come back after 15 minutes to check on it. Okay, so the 15 minutes are up, now I'm gonna go check the picture that has been taken and I'm gonna set up a new one. I'll see you tomorrow when I'll show you all of the pictures after I put them on the computer and after I edit them. So after I took all of those photos from my top terrace, I decided to wait a little bit for all of my neighbors to go to sleep and turn off all of their lights. And around midnight I went in my backyard with my camera and my tripod to take a few pictures of the sky in complete darkness and since it was really dark I couldn't film anything. And here are the photos. <laughs> I wasn't able to take a good picture and I failed because I did not account for the full moon that was up in the sky yesterday night. Basically the sky was too bright because of the full moon and you couldn't really see the stars really well. That is why I 
got these kind of pictures. That is why my pictures look the way that they look. But even though I failed in taking the pictures, the whole experience was not a failure since I learned something new. I learned how to take better pictures of the sky at night and next time when I go to take pictures of the stars, I'll know how to get better pictures. That is why I decided to publish this video and show you the failed pictures as well. But that is all I have for today. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more stuff from me, please subscribe. See you next Tuesday. Bye.